birthing the baby. When you can see a little of the baby's head showing at the opening of the vagina, the birth will happen soon. The need to push can be very strong. Be ready to guide the woman. Sudden powerful pushing can pop the baby out too quickly, resulting in lacerations. Often, tears happen whether you try to prevent them or not. Here, the baby's hand has birthed with the head, which led to a small laceration. You may be able to prevent a tear or minimize it by helping the woman to slow the birth of the head and supporting the vaginal opening during the birth. Don't, however, slow the birth if you think the baby may be in trouble. Only cut the vagina in an emergency. It can cause lasting damage to the woman's tissues. This video will show how to assist the mother to safely birth her baby and minimize tearing of the vagina. When the baby's head stretches the vaginal opening to about the size of the palm of your hand, the head will stay at the opening even between contractions. This is called crowning. Now is the time to work with the mother to slow the birth of the head. A woman's urge to push is very strong and it's not easy for her to hold back. A slow delivery is most possible when there is good communication and trust between the birth attendant and the woman. Let her know ahead of time that you will ask her to stop pushing right as the baby's head crowns. Guide her to blow through each contraction and then breathe slowly and deeply as she rests. Let the power of the uterine contractions push the baby now. At the same time, support the vaginal opening. First, place a cloth to protect the baby from feces. Then, press firmly with your outstretched hand on the perineum, the skin between the vagina and the anus. With the fingers of your other hand, apply a firm, gentle, downward pressure to keep the baby's chin tucked close to his chest. This will allow time for the skin to naturally and gradually stretch to prevent tears. Be careful not to restrict the movement of the head though. Allow the head to come slowly and be born spontaneously. Let the baby's head turn naturally. Do not twist the head. You do not need to suction the baby. The pressure from the delivery naturally squeezes fluid from the lungs, mouth and nose. If there is a cord around the baby's neck, just let the baby's body come out naturally. It's not recommended to clamp and cut the cord before the baby's body is born. The shoulders will usually deliver soon, within a minute after the head. If the baby's heart rate was normal while the mother was pushing, there's no need to speed up the delivery of the shoulders. Okay, okay. Sometimes the top shoulder comes first, sometimes the bottom shoulder. At times, it may be helpful to have the mother open her legs wider to assist the delivery of the shoulders. Once the shoulders are born, support the rest of the baby's body as it slides out 
and looping the cord along the way. Remember, after the baby's head crowns, guide the woman to stop pushing and slow the birth of the head. Support the vaginal opening by pressing with one hand on the perineum and with the fingers of the other hand on top of the baby's head. Let the baby's head be born slowly and spontaneously. <laughs> 